Welcome. My name is Doug Fink. I'm a 15 time Microsoft MVP. And today I want to show you how to create a game from just the instructions and the rules of the game using code uh, GitHub Copilot X and build out a program to do that. So let's kick it off. Okay, so hopefully most folks know about uh, Copilot and AI and GPT and large language models, LLMs. Um, so today I'm going to work in PowerShell and I'm here with uh, Visual Studio Code open and I have the latest GitHub Copilot installed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the game of um, rock, paper, scissors that uh, I hope most folks know. I'm just going to copy paste in some rules. And from there, we're going to see if Copilot can actually, um, if Copilot will actually be able to create a working PowerShell program. Now I have a editor window open. I have it set down here. You can see the language mode is set to uh, PowerShell. So let's go ahead and from this basics, let's uh, give it the rules for rock, paper, scissors, scissors. Uh, rock beats scissors, scissors beat paper, and paper beats rock. Uh, the mini game is a multiplayer and the computer plays the role of your opponent and uh, chooses a random element from each list, from the list of the elements. So I've pasted in the rules. Let's uh, see what GitHub suggests. So I press enter a couple of times. And you'll see that the gray text or the ghosted text is what Copilot is going to suggest. I can accept that by pressing the tab key, as I just did there. And uh, again, we're in PowerShell, so this is how you create an array in PowerShell and uh, setting it to dollar elements. Let's see what's up next. Define the rules. We already have that. And here it's going to give me a hash table or a map or a key value pair structure rock equals scissors, scissors paper, paper rock. Um, so that's the rules. That the, what's on the left beats what's on, on the right hand side of the equal side. So now it's, GitHub Copilot's going to suggest to find the function to get the computer's choice. Okay, let's see what he does. Function. So it's going to get the computer choice by uh, piping the dollar elements, this array, into get random. And that will randomly pick rock, paper, or scissors every time it's any time it's called. Okay, that looks good. What's up next? Let's define the function to get the player's choice. Okay, so get the player's choice. Um, and it comes back and it's going to take the elements and it's going to pipe it into out grid view. And, uh, and then it's going to give me an option to choose. I don't really like that. So let me do this. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to hit Control Enter and see if I can get it to synthesize a bunch of other solutions, which down here you can see this piece is uh, it's spinning, and that's the co-pilot thinking. Let's see how long that might take. Okay, so it gives me a bunch of different things. It uses outgrid view. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, I don't want to check the result. Suggestion 2. I like Suggestion 2. Get player. This this here uh, get the player choice right so it's going to say choose one of the following it's going to do a read host so I can actually type in what I wanted you know if I want to choose rock paper or scissors I'll make sure it make then checks to make sure it's part of the elements otherwise this tells me it's invalid and it calls get player's choice again otherwise it returns that so this is another way that you can uh, use github copilot right if you don't like what you want there are keys that you can do to, to cycle through this um, I didn't use those. I just um, hit Control Enter and uh, it, GitHub Copilot generated like 10 of them. And as you can see here, you can then replace the, the, what's in here with uh, using Accept Solution to replace what's in the editor. Um, also, note that I have a chat window with GitHub Copilot. I could use this to do what ask questions, refine code, um, that's an option for you to explore. 
I'm not going to explore that in, in this video. Okay, so we've got a few things. Let's recap real quick. We're almost done. Um, set up the elements. We know what, the, what beats what. We let the computer choose the element it wants. We prompt the, the user playing the game to choose one. And let's see what else we can do. Define the function and get the winner. That's a, always a good thing. Oops. And let's see what we got. So the get the winner it takes the player's choice, the computer choice. Um, if, the, if they equal, it's a tie. Otherwise, it goes after the rules map. And it says if the rules equal to the computer choice, the player wins. Otherwise, it returns the computer. Cool. So let's see if there's something else. Define the function to play the game. It sounds important. And off we go. Okay, so it'll we'll start to play the game. We'll get a player's choice. That'll be the, the input. It'll prompt me for the, what I want to be. Um, gets the computer, checks out the winner, and then writes the results. Um, last but not least, let's play the game. Always an important part. So let's run this. And out of the box, it comes up, says play game. Well, that's just because of the, the running of the program. But it says choose one of the following. So I'm going to choose paper. So my choice was paper and the computer chose rock and I won. Awesome. Um, let's run this again. And uh, I'm going to choose rock this time. And computer chose the scissors and I win. We'll do it again. And uh, let's choose the scissors. We both chose scissors, so we both win. What I'm going to do here is I'm also going to clear the screen so that uh, when I run it, I can get a clear concept. I can see right away what's going on. So I chose rock, computer chose scissors, and I won again. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more piece. Let's see if Copilot will cooperate. I'm going to select the play game. And I'm going to go control I and I'm going to say put in a loop till user wants to quit. Let's see what it does. So it takes my prompt, uses the play game as a context, and here we go. Let's uh, accept that. So it changed the play game to put it in a while loop. Um, it'll play the game, give me the results, and. Uh, then after it plays the game and tells me who wins, it'll prompt me, do I want to play again, Y or N? And it'll play again. It'll keep looping until I don't type Y or yes. So let's run this up. And I'm just going to keep choosing rock, easier to type. So rock, scissors, I win. Um, yes, I want to play again. Awesome. Let's do rock again. It's a tie. And the last time we'll do this and then this time the computer randomly shows paper and it won. Awesome. Do I want to continue? No. And we exit out. So that was about a little over five minutes with me explaining and going through pieces, uh, taking a little extra time. But we st remember, we started with just the rules of the game, all right? And let Copilot make all these suggestions. When we got the, the player's choice, I decided to use a different version than it provided. Um, by using, letting it generate a bunch of options that I could read and then choose what I wanted to. And then it went ahead and knew the, it had to generate, that it had to generate something that could figure out the winner and put in the code, figure out how to play the game and put in the code and it worked. And ultimately at the end, it only played it one time and then I was able to use Copilot again to highlight just play game, right? And then control I to ask Copilot to do something around that context. And it came back, I asked it, keep playing till the user quits and it correctly wrapped it in a while loop and uh, checked whether or not I typed Y or yes to continue that's all I have hope you enjoyed it uh, subscribe get notified I put out a lot of these different videos on AI PowerShell and other technology thanks for joining till later